happening now. Parents of students at a Granville County school closed due to mold are meeting with administrators. Inspectors found mold at Creedmoor Elementary School earlier this month and at another elementary school over the weekend. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson is getting answers live in Creedmoor. Robert, what are you hearing from parents? Well, Sharon, I actually haven't gotten to talk to any parents in the past few minutes because the Granville High School staff pushed us off the property. However, I did talk to some parents who planned on attending. They say that they're still concerned about the air quality. Administrators tell me that it is outdated heating and cooling systems that are to blame for the mold in the schools. Parents say that they understand the safety issue but wish it were solved sooner. <laughs> I just kind of had to get them out of the house. You know, they're kind of that stored up energy and they're just, they're ready to be back in school. So, and mom's ready to have them back in school. <laughs> Though her elementary school sons would rather be on the playground. We get to play <laughs> at recess. I mean, heal, then recess. Fail. Or at home. I like staying at home and not to TV. But the smiles in free time are due to a serious issue mold. But it's a concern there, so I'm definitely glad that they're taking the steps to take care of the problem. Wendy Quintus and some other parents I talked to questioned why the schools tested when they did. It could have been tested earlier if we had known about the problem um, and the concerns. School spokesperson Stan Winburn says the experience is incredibly frustrating for the Board of Education, which held an emergency meeting Tuesday to discuss school going forward. I've learned they considered options including moving students to other schools, but decided to keep kids at their campuses and replace the outdated heating and cooling systems. We are still trying to determine when and how we're going to get these HVAC units replaced. No students at school before being cleared by inspectors and there will be weekly air quality testing. The safety and the well-being of our students and our staff is the absolute priority and we just aren't going to take any chances when it comes to this. Whoa. The kids I talked to aren't really aware of what mold is, but it's not on their minds as they return. I'm happy to see my friends from last year. And Logan tells me, make some new ones. Creedmoor Elementary is set to start back tomorrow. Butner Stem is still getting cleaned by crews. They're hoping to have that cleaning done by Friday so they can start back on Tuesday. The plan is to extend their class days by about 10 minutes each and go to school on Saturday, September 9th. And moments ago, we got clearance for our AJ Janivel to be inside the meeting, but cameras aren't permitted. He'll have more for you coming up tonight at 11. Reporting live in Granville County, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina. All right.